Hi, I'm Sarah from Bumbleride, and for our new collection, we have moved towards plastic-free packaging, and I'm gonna show you how to unbox the new Aero Stroller. Because we're not using any plastic in the packaging now, we're not using any tape on the outside of the box, so you just have to find a leverage point to open it, slide your hand in. If you can't do this with your hand, you can also use a butter knife to help find a leverage point. And then you open the box up, and using this handle here, you can just start sliding the stroller out. You'll find the manual in here. Make sure you do not throw this away as this has the instructions as well as the tools you'll need to attach all the wheels. Once you have the error out of the box, then you just have to unpack the wheels. So there's a rear wheel, two front wheels. We have listed here on the cardboard a quick explanation of what the tire pressure needs to be. So this unfolds, remove that. And then this is the last rear wheel, which just slides out like so. Once you have everything out of the box, turn the frame over so that the seat fabric is facing up and then undo the lock and that lets you open the frame. And then once the frame's open, then you press down on these two gray levers on either side of the seat and that's what opens the seat up. So the first step, you wanna attach the rear wheels. So they just slide onto the frame on either side When you hear them click, they're engaged. We need to release the wheels. You just pull up on this wheel pin on either side and that releases the wheel. When you put them on, you just slide it in and it clicks. Next step is you want to attach the cargo basket. So there's three snaps and they go across this bar, which is above the brake. So you just snap them on. And inside the cargo basket, there is a zippered pocket and that is where you will find your air pump as well as the wrist strap. You're now ready to attach the front wheels. So with your manual inside here are the tools and the parts you need. So there will be two front bolts and two little nuts that will go on here as well as the Allen key and wrench. Front wheel slides in between the front fork like so and you just slide the bolt through the fork and the axle of the wheel and use the nut on the other side to tighten it up. And then make sure that you tighten it once you've got the wheel on. It's important that you tighten the front wheel securely and once it's on, repeat it on the other side with the other front wheel. Now that you have the error already and set up, you can use it this way, which is in the forward position. You can leave the bumper bar on because it comes with it attached, or you can use your manual to look at how you remove the bumper bar. Alternatively, you can press down on these gray levers and that's how you release it to turn it around so you have it in the baby facing position.